Good morning. It's Friday. Happy Friday, everyone. This is Aaron Simon Says Farms, and today Piper gets blood work. I said it in yesterday's video. Today is a big day. Well, yesterday was a big day, really, because that was soap launch, you know, fall launch. It's cold out here, 540 something in the morning. I don't know where the dogs are right now. They are actually I do know they're right there. Here comes Stella. She's coming up. You might be able to see a little white dot at my feet. There's Piper, there's Stella. Guys, you come in? We're gonna go get House of Pie done real early. Piper's got blood work today. So what I meant yesterday, and it said it in the video, might have missed it, but basically Piper is now full term. She made it after yesterday into Friday. She's technically full term. Now her due date is early next week, but this is where we start. We have to do blood work pretty much every day until she has these babies. So she made it. It's exciting. I even tested, check that out right there. That is puppy cam. So we will be, once she has these babies and goes into her whelping pen, we, we will stream that live for your enjoyment. Also, so we can watch and keep an eye. Now there will be no audio on that video because it's in our home and I don't want the NSA in our home. I mean, the village in our home. Just kidding, you guys are, you know what I mean. I don't want an audio device, a microphone, going 24-7 in the house. That'd be kind of silly. Unfortunately, Tim, the hoof trimmer, had to reschedule. So hoof trimming's coming soon. I think it's early next week now. We might set up a day or so between now and then. Maybe I'll call Rob, see what he's up to. Because I got a couple... Uh, couple of little scurs, little horns that need to be trimmed on some of these boys. They they need some help. Nothing bad. Nothing crazy. All right. Whew, hey, you. Where are you going? Where are you going? You going outside? It's, it's cold. It's like, I want to say in the 60s out here, which is not cold. Let me clarify. Definitely not cold, but you know what I mean. All right. Hold, please. Because we're going to throw some hay. I got to that scissors. I actually gotta bring more hay in here, which means I might, oh, this was already cut. I might have to actually muck this corn out because it can use it. And I'd rather do it when there's no hay in the way. So that might happen today. I don't know, really it starts with Piper. How's her appointment go? All that kind of stuff. And then, and then it goes from there. So the title of the video, it's your fault. Your fault. Okay, don't don't be upset though. I mean, we talked about this. We knew this was gonna happen. So we took the number of macarons, macaroons, is it macaron or macaroon? I don't know. But we took that number that the website said that people are interested. For those of you that went to the website, they sat on the website for like two months. Most of our, what's it called? What was this, fall? I almost said summer. Most of our fall launch was on the website about a month or two early. And we took that number. I got something really funny to tell you guys. It's so ADD, but... So yesterday's video, we'll go back to that number in a minute. Yesterday's video about the launch, Liz watched it before I posted it. And she goes, you touch your nose a lot. Like my, your face while you're recording. You like wipe your eyes, you wipe your face, you touch your nose. So I, um, I went through yesterday's video and I counted how many times. Take a look. I think I'm moving the cell. So we've got knocked over. Piper's in good. We'll talk about completely. Nobody. Let's see. 550 in the morning. Who's here? Dave. Spring, summer, fall. Let's say that. On the first of the weeks for it to get. We got a lot of moose stuffies. If you know anybody that needs a stuffy, like some action coming on the stuffy soon. We might. We do not. The mark at this point because we need to get some of them supported me. Done. I 10 minutes though. Oh, they went out early then. They went out way early. 55. They have five minutes to pack yep. their jackets mm -hmm. and start, you know, moving towards yeah. the door. Up there. They went fast. So we last night while I was oh, the door so the wind doesn't swing it close, she couldn't reach it. Yeah. That that's a little too many times. So I'm I'm consciously now thinking about it. Like I have an itch on my nose. And I uh got it. Like there it is. Okay. It's gone. Cool. So like I said, notification button on the website. When we say summer launch coming, spring launch coming, fall launch coming, if you could help us out, because we're only like two, three people here. Occasionally Uncle Kevin comes down and helps out. 
and occasionally Tyler even. Oh, he bottled some uh, lotion for us the other day. We're small operation and we kind of want to leave it that way. I mean, growing's great. Getting more efficient is what it's all about. Macarons, we took the number on the website. We quadrupled, no, three times. We took that number and tripled it, made all those, and they sold out. Now, we don't mind selling out. I said that in the last video. Selling out's good because a lot of the stuff we do is seasonal. And it's, I touch my nose again. And it's, um, you know, it's high quality. It's handcraft. We don't want to get to mass production. But we also don't want to sell out on launch day. That's bad. We want to have enough to satisfy the customer base for like the first week, if possible. That's kind of like my ultimate goal. If I can carry enough macarons or enough lump of coal is coming back this summer, like last year. So last year we had it, not summer, oh my gosh, this Christmas, you know, for those people that need a lump of coal on Christmas. By the way, Christmas is only 115 days away. Have you started your list? I haven't, like I was saying. Rumor has it, so... Like I said, we try. We try to expand, we try to grow, we try to do it every year, but there will be times that we just can't keep up. There is rumor that macarons are coming back for Christmas. Now, she'll get it up on the website as soon as possible. It's gonna be a different color, I think. She might bring back the same color too. It's all up in the air. Does she have the fragrance? Does she have the colors? Do we have enough boxes? Like there's so much involved, but there will be, this is 100%, there will be macarons in that same six pack available on November 1st and more than we put on this event, this launch. So please still use the notify me buttons. You could use as many as you want, by the way. You can go over to the macarons, throw in your email, hit enter. You can go over to a coffee lover duo pack, put in your email, hit enter. And then that compiles a list for us to tell us what's, what's popular. Now, the other option we have, which I do not like, is to bring back pre-orders where we launch the item, you guys go on, you buy it. You literally buy it and like, and over a week or two of time, we say, okay, 200 people pre-ordered this item. We're gonna make 250. That's another option. I just don't like holding people's money for six to eight weeks before I ship you your item. It's bad for business because a lot of people are like, where's my pre-order? And they don't realize that soap takes six weeks to cure. Plus, we need a week or two to make it. I don't like pre-orders. Not a big fan. And then, when it comes to shipping, here's a bunch of orders going out. We've got, like, the first 50 people going out. When it comes to shipping and all that, those orders sit in my way in the computer. So now a new order comes in that is not a pre-order. I have to, like, all the pre-orders get out of my way before I get... So it just logistically... Pre-orders is difficult. Notify me button on the website is the best. Now, let's talk about the giveaway, the golden ticket. Here it is, evidence that we are we have no idea who's getting it. So every duo pack, bubble wrap, that's for swanky sauce. Every duo pack, here's one right here. Right, which one's this one? Peach, life's a peach, duo pack, soap, lotion, right? We know how many were sold of each duo pack. There's still some, I think, still out there. So what we did is we picked all our duo packs and we put them on this table and then we randomly shoved the golden card into each one. I'll show you. So here's the table, right? All the duo packs. So this is that Life's a Peach, right? And here's the first couple, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? All these bundles. So who, when, when we pull an order off that printer and we say, okay, here's an order, what did this person buy? And we go shopping, that's what we call it, shopping, right? Oh, this person bought a Life's a Peach. Well, guess what, you didn't win. This person's going to win, right here. So the third, probably the second or third order in is gonna win. One, two, three. The third person that bought Galaxy Duo is gonna win. How about down here? Here's the second oatmeal, uh, coconut cream. One, two, the second person. What's this one? This goes with sangria. This one is a, another sangria. Here's a blood orange, second person that ordered the blood orange. The first person that ordered a warm vanilla sugar. See what I mean? It's completely random. No idea who's getting. Golden tickets, right, Hazel? So last but not least, um, I almost said Piper is not walking on crutches anymore. Quinn is not using his crutches anymore. He's walking around the house with no crutches. He leaves them right there in the living room. But he's walking around with no crutches now. So Monday, not Monday, Monday's a holiday. Tuesday will be his first day back to school with no crutches. How do you like that? You like the sound of that? You won't lick me. We talked about this in the last video. If you did, I'd get it all wet. What if I licked you? Oh, I'm just kidding. She a good girl. Okay, we're gonna go now. See you guys on Saturday.
Bye-bye.